Yesterday, the U.S. Senate voted unanimously to make daylight saving time permanent starting next year. It still needs to pass the House. But if President Biden signs it into law, what will it mean for daylight here in Michigan? Here's 13 on your side meteorologist Michael Behrens. Uh, Juliet, at least 28 states are considering new or 2021 carryover bills similar to what just passed in the U.S. Senate on daylight saving time. Michigan's House of Representatives, in fact, passed a bill April of last year, which has been in committee ever since, but it would only go into effect as long as Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and Pennsylvania also made a switch to permanent DST. As far as switching to daylight saving time year round, it does have some benefits for us. In fact, one of them being that you wouldn't see a sunset before six o'clock, no matter what time of the year you're actually in. But as far as drawbacks, there are some of those as well. And I want to highlight one of them here. Uh, sunrises coming after 8 a.m. Currently, we see it from October 20th through November 5th and December 9th through January 27th. If we change to DST year round, October 20th through March 10th would all see sunrise after 8 a.m. Now, why that's a concern, that's a lot of days in the dark for people who have to walk to school in the morning. Currently only about 67 of those a year. And of course, a good chunk comes during uh, winter break. But if we switch to permanent DST, 142 days of the year would be spent in the dark. Just a quick little history lesson here to you on daylight saving time. A lot of people bring Benjamin Franklin for actually having to use it here in the country, but wasn't actually his idea, more of a joke on his part. As far as farmers, they take a lot of flack too. But for the most part, again, these guys already worked based on the sun, so didn't really Really affect them. It was actually the war effort needing to adjust workers hours to daylight hours to save fuel as to why we even had daylight saving time in the first place. All right. Thank you, Michael.